right, and you close bullish. We just broke this down this morning, chat. Let's see who's been listening. This is a question for more so for a trader who's been here for at least three months, three to four months minimum. What would I say next here in this situation? What would I expect next to happen? If the candle closes bullish, respecting resistance, what would I was what would I, what, would, what would I assume would happen next? There's two things that are gonna that that I'll say. Ah, oh, wick. Hold on, you guys are going too fast. Fill the wick, break the highs, enter the flip. The bearish flip or the bullish flip? Let's see who else got the exact answer down here. Your next level will be entering hedges, buying into losing cells. I don't know what that means, but I just lost cells. Um, reading that. Bottom wick to fill the top wick and reverse. Uh, fill the range to the bottom range. I think press up. Nope. Bearish flip. Okay, you know what? I'll put two and two together. Yeah, so. If you close respecting this resistance, right, chat, you would assume what would happen next here is you drive up, obviously, because you have a bullish candle, right? But if the candle drives up first on the opening of the four hour candle, if it drives up first, fills that range, taps that 78 level, because that's the liquidity level for, 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 the, for the one hour time from, right? If it does so, and then it flips bearish, if it flips bearish, I'm taking a sell stop, because I would assume that sell stop would take it to at least down towards the next minor level of support to create a bond on what come price. So therefore, you can probably take advantage of this move coming down towards 72. I think this is more so for like traders have been here for at least six months. The four months, three months might be a little new still, but six months, I think you'll get that down. My bad. But yeah, that's what I want to wait for. If you, if you open up the next candle that opens up, fills wick first, let's bear to look for sells down. Because any given point, the daily candle, it is still in the range, right? Any given point, this thing could be coming down to create a bottom wick, coming down to flip to fill the rest of the range because the overall daily bias is obviously bearish today, right? Today. Overall, we're bullish in terms of structure, but in terms of like today, right? Um, so that's what I, I would I would want to see next here.